Here's Rossi. <laughs> Hi, Rossi. How are you, good dog? What are you doing out here? What are you doing out here, Rossi? Welcome to Zachary Crew. It's Raw Max, and we're coming at you live from one of our favorite places in town. Every Sunday afternoon, I'll try and come up here. This is Mount Archer, um, the mountainous overlooking Rockhampton. So, this is looking out to Rockhampton on a wet, windy Sunday evening. What a great week! Tell you what, it's been amazing. It's my first week working for myself legitimately. And we've gotten up every day, taking the dog for a walk first thing. It's a bit of a routine. And we've been trading and been doing amazing. So that's good. And the GFX. Oh, it loves coming up this hill, I tell you what. It builds a lot of boost. We can let Rossi out, I guess. It's pretty quiet. That's what I was uh, just taking in, the serenity. <laughs> I love that you can just open the door into the guardrail. Oh man, my car is so much fun. So yeah, rip up here. Builds a lot of boost because it's got some load, you know. Third gear and just zip along at the mandated speed limit of 40 kilometers per hour. Oh, hey, you're wet, are you? Now this is not the highest part of the hill. We were just up there. There's nice lookouts and there's radio antennas. A couple of walking tracks. Highly suggest that if you are not in A1 peak physical condition to not attempt the walking tracks. Perhaps if you're going down, maybe not so bad. But it's over 11 kilometers. I think it's 11 or 14 kilometers. And it's, it's heck. It's heck. I took a push bike down and it was a nightmare. <laughs> So there you go. Just enjoying the peace. It's so peaceful here right now. Except for Rossi chewing on grass. <laughs> Breaking the silence. But yeah, you can't hear anything. I guess because of the rain. Here comes another car down the hill. Rossi, come over. Rossi, come back. Oh, he's a good dog. Rossi is. It's the old Bombador. The Bombador wagon. So I did think about getting a Holden Adventurer. If you haven't seen an Adventurer, it's uh, just basically a Commodore wagon, but it has the all-wheel drive gearbox, and it's slightly lifted. Before I got my Troopy, I thought, man, stop having half-assed four-wheel drives get a real four-wheel drive so i got the troopy but man it would have been nice to have an adventurer not to say i won't in the future because they come in a v8 or a v6 um, but i really want the hsv which is top of the range holding special vehicles they came out with one and it's called the avalanche and yeah the holden avalanche but they're just super rare you very very seldom see them for sale so, fun fact about Rockhampton, we might not be high enough at the lookout to actually see it, and it is kind of... Yeah, you can kind of see it, I guess. They've, they've tried to change it, they've put in extra lights. But the streets of Rockhampton are all in grids, right? Especially on the south side over there, and north side too, but they're offset. But So the streets say hell <laughs> in the lights. <laughs> Uh, starting a, we're sort of not high enough to see, but right here is your H down in Depot Hill, Bowles Over Street, and Denham Street makes the H, and then you got the E, and then the L here basically, with this bridge, and the other L here with this other bridge, you can kind of see it, and then to the right of that is the showgrounds so they tried to put in lots of lights to make it say hello and all they ended up making it spell out was hell hole <laughs> what do you think about that Rossi so there you go it's getting dark I don't know this video is thrilling let me know we'll do more of these local histories I don't know nothing we're about to go traveling this week if I can get my troopy back together 
had an issue with the differential bearings putting them back on i didn't really need to cut them off they were perfectly fine off the pinion but i thought we're doing it doing brand new all the stuff do a good job and i put the bearing in my kitchen oven at 100 thinking well if it fluctuates a little bit it shouldn't get over 120 which is you don't really want to take bearings much past that and when I opened my friggin' goddamn oven, my bearing was blue. Blue it was. It was hot as heck. And I grabbed it and it instantly burnt through me leather gloves and burnt me finger. And then I can't put that on. So I sat it down on some timber and it burned a nice circle into the wood. So I'm not sure what's going on with my oven. It's obviously slightly warmer than it says on the label. Uh, nightmare. So now I've got to wait tomorrow to go to a bearing shop and have them order i'm sure unless by sheer miracle they're gonna have one order me a new pinion bearing <whistles> maybe land cruisers will have one we'll have to see if we can get one tomorrow we'll still be on for air lockering otherwise we are up shit creek <laughs> Russ again, jump up. Are you coming? It's nearly dark. All right, we're out of here. I've taken up enough of your time. Russ again, jump up. I'd love to film driving the GFX up this mountainous range. The road part of this is about um, it's about ten and a half kilometres, I believe, because I did walk it one afternoon, thinking I was David Goggins. David Goggins has joined the chat. Who's going to carry the boats? <laughs> so obviously you start down the bottom there. Oh man, I was nearly spewing up about, I don't know, a third of the way up. So hot. <laughs> Not in condition. And then this grandma was going power walking straight past me. I was like, nah. Oh, suck it up, princess. So we kept going, me and Rossi. And it really took a toll on Rossi, actually. Didn't realise she was getting a bit older and on the road too with her bare feet and stuff. So And then we went back down, I guess. So. Does that make it 20 k's? can't remember. Maybe it's 5 k's up and back. I can't remember. Either way, it's about, uh, I think, 600 metres elevation. So, yeah, it's nice. It's actually not raining. When I was at the top, it's not very much higher, but it's just pissing down up there. And this cloud's blowing past and everything, but just here, super peaceful. So we're going, me and me dog, and now the screen's almost black, I'm sure. So, see us. Bye-bye.